Thursday, February 11. <laughs> um, I didn't get really good sleep last night, so I'm kind of a little groggy. But um, I wanted to talk real quick about... Uh, I haven't had a car in Los Angeles since 2007. Um, <clears throat> at that time, my car kind of broke down. I couldn't afford it. I donated it. And I kind of thought that within a year I would be able to afford a new one. And for various reasons, I just haven't, and it hasn't been a financially, you know, smart thing to do. So I've avoided it. I would like to say that I'm doing it for like environmental or, you know, green reasons, but I'm, I'm not. I would really like to have a car, but I don't have one. And not having a car in Los Angeles uh, for that long, um... It's, it has this weird effect on uh, having a social life, being sociable in general, just being available to go anywhere on a whim. And I realized recently that it has had this like really uh, strenuous impact on some friendships because like when I get out of work at night, I have a very specific timeline um, to, to get home and my focus is just kind of on doing that like okay I gotta be here by this point um, and then it's just let's go home let's get home and and you know drop our stuff off and potentially be able to go out from there and there have been multiple occasions with multiple people where you know they want me to be able to do something at the last minute and it's like I want to do that completely but it's ridiculously out of my way um, and would take a long time and throws off this path that I already had planned um, and so I just like I'm working on it because I'm recognizing that it's affecting friendships uh, that could be better and could be stronger um, and I need to break that habit of committing to this path something I do a lot maybe not even in this circumstance like this is the thing I had planned this is the thing I'm doing and I'm not saying yes to all this other stuff which um is something that improv taught me when I was doing improv that and it sounds so cheesy but like uh the yes and mentality of improv uh when I was uh taking classes and learning that it had affected me greatly because I started to just say yes to things and I need to do that more, and I'm recognizing that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, say yes, yes and. Um, that's it. Thursday, February 11, I'm heading to work. I will see you tomorrow.